Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear friends. You must have been waiting for what automated solution I am going to tell you about the creation of the three files that you will need for making your journal names short or abbreviated in BibTeX. On the screen now you are seeing six file names. The first three files that is my new style.bst, my article.tx and my references.bib. In this video, it is supposed that you already prepared these three files and you have opened them. The first file that is my new style.bst contains your new style that you have created using the make bst tool using your command prompt. And if you want to watch how to create your new style, then you will have to watch my video about the creation of new style using make bst. My article.ex is the actual file that contains your research article or book or your thesis, etc. You will have to type this manually. The third file, my references.bib. These are the references that you have copied from Google Scholar and you have saved them in this my references.bib. Okay, the following three files that is my modified references.bib in which you remove the curly brackets from the journal names and you also remove the spaces between the different parts of the journal name. I have already discussed the mail one method of creation of these three files in my previous video. So if you want to watch the details of these three files and you want to learn the manual method of the creation of these three files, then you will have to watch the previous video. The second file is my short journals.bi. This file contains the abbreviations of the journal name that you must have copied somewhere from the internet or some other source. The third and last file is the my full journals.bib. This contains the full journal name, but the actual file that we require is the my short journals.bib because the bib tag has a problem that it doesn't show the journal name in abbreviation. So if you want to see the manual method of preparing these three files, then go to my previous video and watch that video. You will learn the creation of these files in detail. For the creation of these three files, I have written a code and have stored that code in the form of a function. The name of the function is write.bib. You can use this function to create these three files. Let me show you the detailed method of using this function. First of all, you will need to open your text audio. In the text audio, you can see that we have two files opened. The first file is my article.ex. This file actually contains your research article. The second is my references.bib. This file contains the references that you have copied from the Google Scholar. This is our first reference. Then this is the second and this is the third reference. So basically we need the abbreviations of these journals. This is journal one, this is journal two, and this is journal three. Okay, now first let me show you if I run this file, then how our journal names appear. So you can see that our journal names will appear in full, nucleic acids research. And the second is American Journal of Medical Genetics and the third is Nature Medicine. Although our new style is for the abbreviated journal name, but this doesn't abbreviate the journal name. So for this purpose, you will have to create those three files that I have shown you a moment before. And you have already watched the manual method of their preparation. Let me show you how to use the code. And I will tell you with examples. So the first example is that journal abbreviations are taken directly from the internet. For that purpose, you can write the function like write.bib and inside these parentheses, you will write online string. This will take the journal abbreviations from specific web addresses and will create those three files for you. For this, you will have to open your R Studio. But before using this, let's first set the directory to that directory where we have saved our these two files that is my article.tx and my references.bib. So this is the make bst directory in which we have stored our my article.tx this one and 
myreferences.bib this file. So these two files are already here in this folder. Now you want to create three other files here in this folder. So first you must specify the directory from here, tools, global options, and then look at here. You will have to set your directory over here to the makebst. This is already set here. So you can set this by browsing and then go to desktop uh, and on desktop I have my directory make BST. So select that directory and click open. Your directory will be set to that directory and then click apply. After that, as I show you that you will have to type the function write dot B I B and then inside these parentheses, just type online, then just hit enter. Those three files will be created in a moment. This will always give you this error and you don't need to worry about this error. Our three files have been created now. Now you will have to go to your text studio. In text studio, go to file, open and open. You can see that our myfulljournals.bib has been created, my modified references, my short journals, my short journals 2, my short journals 3. So it has basically created three kinds of abbreviations file for us. First, let's open my modified references. So this was the file that we created manually in our previous video. Now let's go to our uh, second file. That is full journals. This file contains full journal names. Then the fourth file is the my short journals dot bib. Okay, this file has got a problem now. So we now uh, open the second short journal file. That is my short journals two. Okay, this is okay now. Nucleic acid res, AMJ med genetic, and this third one. So this file is okay. My short journals two dot bib, and my full journals here. Let me show you how you uh, abbreviate your journal names. So and go uh, here and open your this file. We would need some changes in this file. The first change is that you will have to type my short journals journals two dot sorry comma and here now we don't need this my references. We will have to type this my modified references instead of my references. So my modified reference. You shouldn't give any space after this comma. That is between this and this. There should be no space except comma. Okay, then go to tools, commands, BibTech, and then click on this button. Okay, now you can see nucleic acid RIS, which is the shortcut, MJ med Janet. This is also the abbreviation of the journal and netmed is the third journal's abbreviation. So now our journal is on in the abbreviated form. So this was the first method of how to create the my modified journal references file, my short journals file and my and the third one was my full journal name. Let me show you if my full journal name worked or not. This is my full journal name, the name of the file. Now let's change this my short journal to my full journals. Okay, and then uh, tools, commands, biptic. Click on this. Uh, yes, nucleic acid research, full journal name, American Journal of Medical Genetics, and Nature Medicine. The second example is that if you have a website address, for example, this one, which contains the journal's abbreviations in the form of a TXT file. For example, this is a website address. So you can just type write.bib and inside this parentheses enclose the uh, website address in the inverted commas and then just hit enter. Paste it here. Okay, now hit enter. So your, those three files will now be created from this online address. 
and it will take the abbreviations of the journal from that website. Okay, now let's see if anything has changed or not. This is my modified references. This is my short journals two. These are my references and these are my full journals. Let me open the another file, my short journals. Okay, again, this is empty. For the rest of the examples, we will need to download the EndNote term list file that contains the abbreviations of the journal name. So for that purpose, you will have to go to the internet and we'll search for the EndNote term lists and then download all those term lists on your laptop and save them in some folder inside this current folder that is make BST folder. But you'll have to type EndNote term list, clear it and then click. So these are the term lists for EndNote. Click on this website. Okay, this is attachment one. Here are the term lists in the zip folder. You just need to click it and download it. After it is downloaded, just unzip the folder. Once you download it, these files will be available in this folder. Let me show you. Archaeology.txt, Astronomy, Astrophysics, Humanities, and anthropology, biosciences, chemical, economics, etc. So these files have been downloaded from this EndNote term list Clarivate website. And I have saved them in two different folders, folder one and folder two. These two folders must be in this folder that is make BST folder in which you have put your myreferences.bib and your myarticle.ex files. Okay, you have downloaded the files from the internet now. Now let me show you the third example. For example, you have saved those text files in your current directory, that is your make BST directory. Then what command will you use to create those three files? The command will be write.bib and inside these parentheses, you will have to type the string current, which means that the files are located in the current directory. For example, this is your make BST folder, and these are the files Biosciences 3, Chemical, Korean, etc. So these are the files that are situated in our current folder. So how we create those three files from these journals, term list, or files? So go to R program, write your function name, and then inside here you type current. Just hit enter and all your files will be ready now. So your modified references is this one. You are my short journals.bib. Now it's okay, it doesn't have those empty lines. And then this is the second my short journals. This is first, this is second. The only difference that these short journal names have dots in them and this my short journals too, they do not have any dots in there. My full journals, this one, Okay, the fourth example. If you have journals abbreviations saved in files in some subdirectory, then you will just need to type write.bib without any argument because the default string given here inside the write.bib is the subfolder. So it will search all the subfolders inside this make BST folder and will take all those files and will search for the abbreviations of the journals inside those subdirectories and inside those files. So what do we mean by subfolders? Subfolders are these three folders, folder one, folder two, and my DAR. So these are the three subfolders which contains some files like this one has three term list files which contains journals abbreviations and their full names. This is the second folder. This has got some other files that also contains the journal full names and their abbreviations. This is the third folder, which also has got some uh, files containing full names and short names of the journals. Now, if we type the command without any argument, this command will search these three folders, that is subfolder. So let's use it without any argument. Write.bib 
and give no argument and then click enter okay now your files are ready now see how it has uh, prepared my modified references my short journals it's okay okay now let's let me show you the difference the shortcut for the nucleic acid journals is now nar so it has searched from some of the file that the 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 abbreviated uh, name of the nucleic acid journal is nar so one of the, those files must have some name like nar and the rest of the two names are okay and then okay see here this has a missing line for nucleic acid journals and let me show you this full journals they all have got the full journal names so now it has got some problem so to solve that problem you will have to like give the specific folder name or specific uh, file name for this you will see them in my uh, next example okay now you want to search one or more specific subfolder or file then if you want to search for one folder then just type like write.bib and inside brackets give the folder name in the as a string single folder name. or if you want to search for different folder then you will have to type them inside the c function that is uh, in the form of a vector so c folder one folder two folder three so you are going to search for them in the in three different folders now let me show you how i search the journal names in one of the subfolders for example uh, i want to search them in this folder two the name of the folder is folder two so just type here f o l d e r folder two and see how it prepares those three files done okay now see this is your my modified references these are look now the there it the name of nucleic acid journals abbreviations was n a r but now it has the accurate name of nucleic acid research journal because it has found the accurate abbreviations from one of the files inside that folder too this look there at this file and my full journal name etc now let me give you two different folder names then you will have to use that c function so we have folder two and then we have another folder folder one okay now click enter go to the here my modified references my short journals it's okay again this one and this one okay now let me search the folder number two sorry folder number one and click ok let me show you what happens this is ok the second one look it has only got one journal abbreviations that is nucleic acid uh, research and that's also like very brief abbreviation that is nar and look at the third one it has no journal names look at the full journal names it has got only one journal from that folder okay now let me show you the folder one why has it not got any journal abbreviations from that folder look here the first file is archaeology which contains archaeology related journals the second is astronomy and astrophysics journals and the third is humanities journals that is the reason that it has not got any journal abbreviations for the american uh, journal and for the third one that is its name was nature medicine i think let me show you once again uh, this is this is the nucleic acid research it got uh, from somewhere or uh, from those three files but it has not got the abbreviation for american journal of medical genetics because this is a medical journal so it would not be uh, available in some archaeology and astrophysics etc if you want to search for the abbreviation of this journal then you must search this folder because this folder contains like biosciences journals the the like medical journals so it can be found here okay now let me show you another example this one the last example you want to search one or more specific files in the current directory then you will have to give the name of that file.txt 
or several files name. Now let me show you the names of the files. Here we have Bioscience 3, another is Chemical, another is Medical. Let me search the journal abbreviations in here because we have got uh, medical journals in our uh, references file. So we will find those references here in this medical list of the journals. So medical.tfc right dot bib and capital medical dot txt okay done and see here this is my modified references file this is my full journal it has got all the journals my short journals it has got the abbreviations for all the journals because these three are the medical journals and it can be found in that medical journals list these are the second kinds of abbreviations these are the full journal name Okay, now let's search for another file. Search for these three journals abbreviations in another file. For example, in this chemical three file, chemical three dot txt file. And see if it can find the abbreviations of the journals in this file or not. Write dot bib and then chemical chemical three dot txt and hit enter done okay it got only one journal's name nucleic acid research and the abbreviation and this abbreviation it didn't find the abbreviation for other two journals now let's search for two files for example like c uh, chemical 3.txt and then another is medical.txt done okay it got the general abbreviations for nucleic acids for nature medicine and for this one here these are the full journals name so this was the use of this function in different ways now as you know that this is a user defined function so this function will not be available in your R program. You will have to type it manually. And I have written the code for this uh, function. So you just need to watch my uh, video and uh, write down this code from the video or you can uh, email me. I will just email this code to you and you can use it in your R program for the preparation of those three files. So the code of the function starts from here, okay? and then just uh, type this code in your R script program. So that was all the code of the function you will need to type in your R script for that purpose. But before using the code, after typing, just click here in the beginning of the code and then press Control Enter so that your uh, function may be uh, compiled and stored in your R program. Now it is stored and you can use this code for the creation of those three specific files that you will be required for abbreviating your journal name in your latex document okay those people who do not have r program installed they will have to download the r program as well as the r studio program in their uh, computer and will they they will have to install those two programs before using this function as you already know that I always uh, dedicate uh, my newly created type functions to my friends, to my teachers, to my colleagues, etc. And this time I dedicate this function
to, to two of my best friends, that is Asad Ali and Farman Ali, who were my roommates during my final years of my uh, masters as well as during my PhD. So thank you very much for watching this video. Bye.